Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from Navigation Trading. In this video, I wanna show you how we were able to take a losing short strangle and turn it into a winner. The trade that we're looking at, we put on in symbol XRT, which is the S&P Retail ETF. So this is a trade that we put on on November 21st, 2017. And that's indicated by this little highlighted bubble. And you can see on the chart, every highlighted bubble is where we made another trade or adjustment throughout the period of time when we were in this trade. So we were in this trade from 1121 of 17, and we closed out the trade completely on April 17th of 2018. Okay, so we were in the, in the trade for a decent amount of time. And the reason that is, is because look at this massive move that happened in the ETF right after we put it on. So we put it on right here, a few days later had this huge pop higher, added another trade here, made some adjustments all along the way. And you know, I mean, this thing went from about $41 all the way up to uh, $49 before coming down and then starting to consolidate. So this is, a, this is a huge lesson to understand of how to manage a trade when it goes against you. Because not every trade is gonna be one of those that you just put on and take off as a winner. You've got to know how to manage these trades from beginning to end. And the, the difference between a losing trader and a winning trader can be the difference of if you know how to manage and adjust the trade mechanically and properly. So I'm gonna go th through this from beginning to end. If you're a brand new trader and you've never made an adjustment or you haven't traded a short strangle, you may wanna turn this off and come back to it when you're a little bit more experienced because we are gonna get in the weeds a little bit on this. But for those of you who are trading strangles, short strangles, and are a bit confused on why we adjust the way that we do or how to adjust, and, and you wanna see kind of the big picture of how we turn a losing trade into a winner, then make sure you watch this entire video and go back to it if you have questions or you didn't quite pick up something the first time, you may wanna go back and do it again because this is so powerful. Uh, and this is, like I said, this is the difference between a losing trader and a winner, and it's learning how to manage the losers and get back to profitability. All right, so let's jump in. So the first thing I wanna look at is if we go into our members area at Navigation Trading, this is what you'll see in the closed trades section, and this is in XRT. So you'll see that every trade is documented from beginning to end. We just simply copy and paste these directly from our broker onto the platform so you always have exactly what we've done all along the way. And as you can see, we started on 1121 and then we ended up closing out of the entire position on 417 for a total profit of $307. Now you might be thinking, big deal, $307, and you were in the trade for months, how is this a good thing? Well, the reason it's such a powerful thing, it's such a good thing, is the fact that we, when we first put on the trade, the ETF completely went against us. It exploded to the upside like, I, like I'm showing in this chart. I mean, it made a huge move to the upside, a huge one directional move. Remember, when we're putting on strangles, we like price to stay in a fairly consistent uh, range to make money on that trade. But if you have a huge massive move, that's when you've got to learn how to adjust and manage that trade. So from the beginning, we, we ended up entering with a short strangle with four contracts. And then what we did on 12.4 after we had a huge move is just like we teach in our strangles course is that we added another one. So we added another one and we did this one for three contracts. Okay, so now we had two separate positions on. On 1220, which I'm gonna flip back and forth to the chart, on 1220, we ended up, because we had this big move up here, we ended up rolling our puts up. So when we have a breach of our short strike to the upside, we roll up the untested side. So we rolled up our puts uh, up, up to collect more credit and to continue to give ourselves more time to be right. 
Then we did an adjusting close where we bought back the, the three contract strangle, booked a profit on that piece. So we sold it for 70, bought it back for 35. So that's a 50% of max profit uh, on that piece of the trade. Then the next day, we ended up opening another one. So we sold another strangle for three contracts. So we're constantly opening trades, booking trades, adjusting, rolling as needed until we get back to profitability. If we had just put on this trade and then the trade goes against us and we took it off, we would have ended up booking a loss of about $600, okay? So we went from a $600 loss back to a $300 profit. And one of the keys, key things to remember is look at where implied volatility is this whole time during the trade. When we put this on, implied volatility, the IV percentile was at about 60 and then it popped up and it stayed relatively high all the way through the trade. So if we weren't already in this trade to begin with, anywhere along this, this time frame, you could put a trade on because we had high implied volatility, meaning the options were expensive, which is a good time to sell those options, okay? So we wanted to be in the trade, so we continue to adjust and close, adjust open. We needed to roll, so we rolled this. Uh, from January to February, as you can see here. Then we made on 124, we made another adjustment roll where we rolled from February to March. On 131, we did uh, another adjusting roll where we, we went from February to March as well. So again, we're managing these two different positions. One has four contracts, one with three. And sometimes I'll do that on purpose so that we have just one contract difference so it's easier to track. So I like to track each trade within the position uh, separately just to keep everything straight. And so by doing that, we did four contracts on this one, three on this one, and we continue to manage uh, as such. On 215, we bought back this strangle for 502. So it ended up actually taking a loss on that piece, but continue to manage our one with three, three contracts. And then on 321, 329, we opened another strangle with, with four contracts to continue to manage these. On 4-2, we did another roll where we rolled from April to May, as you can see here. On 4-13, we did an adjustment close where we bought back that strangle. And then on 4-17, we bought back our other strangle and closed the entire thing out for a total profit of 307. Now again, I went through that really quickly. All of these adjustment techniques, we go through step-by-step step in the course. If, a, if one of the sides of our strangles gets tested, we roll up the untested side. Once we get to down to around 21 days to expiration, we roll out to the next expiration cycle to collect more credit and give ourselves more time to be right. So after all those adjustments, uh, you know, one of the questions you might have was, well, how did, how did you come up with that total profit? How, can, you, can you walk us through from beginning to end how to calculate this to make sure that we understand what we made on the total trade from beginning to end? And so what I've done is I've just put together a really simple spreadsheet because this literally is all you have to do to calculate this. So it might sound complicated at first, and when you're first learning how to trade these strategies, it can be complicated. So I don't want to minimize that, but, but I want to break it down and make it as simple as possible to show you how easy it is. So all we're doing is I put on the spreadsheet XRT, that's the symbol we're trading, and I made two different columns, one with three contracts and one with four. Okay, so if, if you're trading with, with multiple number of contracts and you have a couple different positions going on, you want to do you want to make columns for each of those depending on the number of contracts and then all you have to do is take the the ones that you sell because when you sell we're collecting a credit so you can see with this one with four contracts we sold for 83 cents boom you put 83 cents right there under four then we've got one with three contracts and we sold that for 70 cents so we put 70 cents here then we did an adjusting roll where again we sold, so that's a credit of 52 cents under four contracts. So we put that here. Then when you do a buy, that is a debit. Okay, so that's a debit of 35 cents. So we put that here as a negative number. So negative uh, 0.35, negative 35 cents.
Okay, that's and that's under three uh, three contracts. Okay, so you and you just go down the line, and if you sell when you're doing a strangle, you do that as a credit, and if you buy, you put that in as a debit. So then, what we do is when we get to the end, we've closed it out. We add up all of our debits and credits on the three contracts. We had a positive 277. And then on the four contracts, we actually had a negative $1.31. Okay, so then what we do is we, we can break out our calculator here and we can say, okay, let's add all these up. That added up to 277. So if we take 277, 2.77, and then remember, we got to multiply that times 100 because each contract represents 100 shares. So that's $277. Then you've got to look at, okay, how many contracts did we trade? In this case, we traded three contracts. So you multiply that times three, and that equals $831. So in all the trades that we were making uh, with three contracts, that adds up to a profit of $831. And then on this column with the four contracts, that added up to 131. Okay, so we take 1.31 and we multiply that times 100. That equals 131. And then we did four contracts. So you say times four, and that equals 524. In this case, negative 524. So on the four contract trades, we lost $524. So 831 minus 524. That's where we get the total profit of 307. So again, if you're new to this, this is all going to sound like a foreign language, but I promise as we're going through this and doing one trade at a time, and if we go back to the platform, I mean, look, we did one trade here on 1121, then we did one on 12.4, then we did a couple weeks later on 12.20. So this is just a progressive, uh, you know, adjustments and rolls and, and additions and, and putting on trades and taking trades off. And when you when you get to the end, you know, you, all you have to do is add up all your credits and debits, figure out where you are from a profitability standpoint, and that's going to give you your total profit. And again, I hope you realize the power of this strategy that we took a big loser that went completely against us from the very beginning. And by staying mechanical, continuing to collect more credits, extend duration by rolling and giving ourselves more time to be right, we ended up turning a major losing trade into a profitable trade. And if you can take your losers and then turn those into profits, and of course, you know, these are such high probability that trades that a lot of them you're just going to put on and take off as a winner. But when, when one goes way against you, understanding how to mechanically roll and adjust and, and do the strategies that we teach step by step in our course, it is going to make a massive difference in the profitability and consistency in your trading. So I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to learn more about how we've taught over 10,000 members how to trade options for consistent income, just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, click on the big orange button, and we'll give you immediate access to our flagship course, Trading Options for Income. We'll also give you the navigation trading implied volatility indicator that you see on our charts, along with the watch list that we use to trade the most profitable symbols day in and day out. All this is yours, no cost. Just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, and we look forward to seeing you on the inside.